the Lord be with you and also with you. I am so glad you are here this morning. We have something really interesting to figure out today. We want to know, is it okay to feel anger? Have you ever felt anger before? Raise your hand. Yeah, me too. What does your body feel like when you start to feel angry? What starts to happen to your heartbeat? Yeah, Charlotte, what happens? It starts to go faster. Can you guys show me with your hands on the ground what your heart does when you start to feel angry? It starts to go fast. What happens to our breathing when we feel angry? Yes, Poppy. <laughs> Louder, faster, heavier, and badder. Yes. Ab yeah, all of those things. What about our faces? Does anybody's face maybe turn a little bit red? Hattie, what were you going to say? Yeah, that it does. Yeah. And what about what happens in our mind when we get angry? Do your thoughts, do they feel like they go really fast? Annie, what did you want to say? Yeah, it feels like you can't hold it in and you want to let it out. That's exactly right. Well, I wonder what scripture tells us about anger. We are going to find out um, this morning. David is going to read us a passage, and it comes from a letter in the Bible. And it was written by a guy named Paul long ago to his church friends in Ephesus. And he had something interesting to say about anger and about words. All right, let's see what Paul says. He says, be angry, but do not sin. Speak the truth to your neighbors. Do not push your anger down or put it in a box and hide it away, but tell your feelings with gentleness. Use your words for kindness and not for saying mean things Forgive each other, because God always forgives us. So is it okay for us to feel angry? Yeah, absolutely. We can feel anger, but the, the tricky part is trying not to hurt other people when we feel angry, right? Because all these changes happen in our body and our, our thoughts are going so fast, so it can be really tricky not to hurt other people with our words. Well, this morning, we are continuing to talk about what it looks like to be the body. And this morning, we are learning about the tongue and our words. With our words, we can say kind things, and we can tell the truth, and we can tell our feelings. Or with our words, we can let them spill out, and we can hurt people. So this morning, we're going to explore together how we can use our words to make the world a better place. Well, in just a moment, after we pray our prayer, we have a friend who's going to come forward and get baptized. Um, we are so excited. He's over there, back there with Dad. Can you wave to your friend? Hi, Finn. All right, so when Finn comes forward with his family for baptism, we are going to sit here, and then we'll go together after the baptismal hymn. Well, before we do that, shall we pray together? All right, let's pray our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. At this time.